What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Landaris. You already know. You see it. You see it. Illinois oh, no, Lawn Service, Kansas City, Missouri, Blue Springs area. Mm -hmm. Back at you. Hey, guys. Uh, just making a video. Um, <sighs> I got to get stuff done around my property. Everything slowed down. Uh, like, slowed down. Like, I'm kind of done with uh, with my yards. Unless I got a customer. I always tell my customers, hey, this is the last cut. But if you need a cut, you know, after that, just give me a call. That way I can come out and uh, service your yard. I do have a yard that, um, I do have a yard that I, uh, I continue to cut all the way through the season. I got a couple of yards that I do that just to mulch up the leaves. And I charge them the same price as I would just a couple of weeks ago. Sometimes it's, uh, every two weeks. So I'll just stop by there, you know, when I got a couple of people calling me service their yard because I really don't want to go out if I just got one yard or something like that. I got to make that travel worthwhile to go out, um, get in the truck, drive to one property. And if I do that for like 65 bucks, you know, I would rather have two or three yards that I can go maintain during this season just to just to make it worth my while. So uh, after that, you know, after a certain period, I shut down. You know, I used to try to go all year round and stuff like that, but sometimes it's not even worth going out for one or two yards once it starts getting really cold. Now, if you got a cleanup to do, leaf cleanup, then yeah, that's a three hundred and fifty to four hundred and seventy-five dollars. That you're gonna be making, that's that's basically my roughly my uh, my minimum three seventy five, four hundred is kind of my minimum to go out and mulch up leaves on somebody's property, blow the leaves out of flower bed, mulch up leaves. It's gonna be like three seventy five. Now, if I take the trailer and I suck up the leaves, I add another uh, hundred and fifty dollars to that. So you could get up into the five hundred dollar range when I bring out that leaf trailer and suck up leaves and things like that. Cause um, just to hook up gas, you know, um, you're gonna have to, you're gonna be paying a little bit more. So that's how I do it. Now that I have um, everything paid off, I kinda, I'm not, I'm not bound to be like, I gotta go out there and do that you know, for a, a lower price, you know, I still determine if I actually want to do it or not. So say for instance, somebody called me and they need a, a leaf job done. Well, I'm going to say my minimum is three, three, three seventy five to come out and mulch them up. But if, but there's another option, if you want me to blow everything out and uh, suck them up with the leaf vac you could have that option and it's going to be you know i'll tack on 150 dollars along with that now um i also tell my customers all my customers now and i used to didn't do this is that uh it's going to be so say for instance i say i come out and i mulch up your leaves for 375 then I'm gonna tell them it's gonna be 375 plus tax. I always tell them that now because I used to never add no taxes to my stuff, uh, and it's extra income, you know, to set aside for your taxes. So, you know, you get all you. I, I got a I got a certain account that I put money in for taxes, just in case either I gotta pay in, and if I'm lucky, uh, I don't have to pay in. Uh, on any taxes at the end of the year. So hopefully, you know, I could either uh, keep that money in that pot 
or I can use it to pay off the remaining balance of uh, my credit card that I do business with, you know, um, and pay that off so I can have a, a clean slate uh, for the next following season. So that tax, whatever you charge in taxes, you can use that on taxes. And if you're lucky enough that you don't have to pay in or anything like that, you can, um, you can use that, either keep it for the next following year, or you can use it to invest in another piece of uh, uh, equipment, or you could just use that and uh, uh, pay off whatever you need to pay off that has to do with the business. So that extra taxes and stuff, whether you use it to give to Uncle Sam or you end up accumulating it at the end of the year for yourself, you can use that for the business to either reinvest in yourself or buy another piece of uh, equipment or pay off some loans or to pay off, you know, something that has to do with the business. It's not yours, so don't think it's yours. You got to have that mindset that it's not yours. It's either, it's either for the business or it's for Uncle Sam, you know, if you, if, if, if you, if you fall short on having an OEN and stuff like that. But, you know, I, I, I pay all the way at the end of the year uh, with my CPA guy and stuff like that. I don't do the every, I don't do quarterly. I don't do it like that. I just pay at the end of the year. And that's because I'm disciplined enough to put money aside out of the pot uh, to, to have that available just in case or if I need it at the end of the year when tax time rolls around. So you got to be disciplined to do that. If you're not disciplined, then you might want to pay quarterly, you know, so that you know that you're paying those taxes uh, as needed. But I'm the type of guy that I, I like to do all my stuff at the end. I don't do the quarterly. I just pay everything at the end. And if I owe, I owe. If I don't, then I don't. And like I said, I, I set money aside for taxes anyway. So if you're not good at doing that, then you might as well just continue to pay quarterly. Not saying if you're paying quarterly, you're not disciplined enough, but a lot of people are not disciplined to set money aside or have that extra cushion of money that you set aside to pay your taxes if need be. So uh, that's just how I do things. And I'm just disciplined enough just to do that. Uh, I just keep the season going and I just, I just do everything at the end. That's just my preference. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to be trying to do some bushes today at my property and get things done and cut grass. And I'm, I'm able to now, uh, attend to my business now. You know, as far as, you know, uh, getting some stuff done around the house. So, as you can see, I got to cut grass. <sighs> yeah. I got to move stuff around. See, look at this. Grass is growing. I haven't cut any bosses. So, grass. I got to aerate this back here. You know, I got work to do here at my own property. <laughs> you know. And since everything is slowing down, now I can attend to that. So, yeah, guys. Uh, but let me know if you guys uh, have any questions for me. Leave me some questions. Uh, and let me know um, what you want to know. You know, ask me some questions and, you know, I'll make a video uh, answering that question. So just leave me some comments at the bottom. Uh, and I'll do that for you, for anybody that wants to know, you know, how I do things around here at my business and, uh, some of the experiences that I've been through and some of the experiences that I've heard. So that's how you learn. And that's what we need to do. Uh, let me know guys, uh, if you actually tell your customers plus tax, you know, 
Now, I know some guys will probably bake their tax into their, their quote and all that stuff, but um, I think it's good to let them know, let customers know that you charge tax. Everybody else does. Every other business charge tax. They see the tax right there um, on my yard book. It has uh, a section for tax, and I put the percentage in for tax, and it's on their invoice. So do you just say, hey, it's $375 and just leave it as that, or do you say uh, $375 plus tax, and that'll show on your invoice when you get your invoice? So let me know if you guys do that. If you don't do that, you should do that. You should be charging tax just like any other business. That makes you look a little bit more professional. You know, customers are used to taxes, you know, uh, being taken out, you know, when they go to the stores, Walmart, uh, paying taxes on uh, um, getting, their, getting their car fixed, getting oil changes. There's tax on everything. So as a business, you should be charging tax too. Just let me know what you guys do. Um, it just makes your, your, your business look a little bit more professional. And it's not a, it's not a shocker to, to customers like, oh my God, he's charging tax. If you don't charge tax, I think that's why we get the, um, the, the, the stigma of, you know, not being a legit business because they don't see those type of things that they normally see with businesses when they do business. Every other business in this world charges tax. Why not the lawn care professional? They need to see that. You need to tell them that. And like I said, that's going to go towards Uncle Sam, help you out on your taxes so you're not digging in your pocket to pay taxes. Or if you're good on taxes at the end of the year and Uncle Sam ain't wanting, you know, uh, uh, so much more back and you got some left over then you can use that towards your business or use it towards uh investing back into your business so buying a piece of equipment whatever all right guys i'm out just want to make a video real quick uh like subscribe if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now like right now go ahead and subscribe and uh I'll see you on the next video. All right, guys, I'm out.